How's it going guys? Davey here from phonebuff.com and in this video I'm doing a speed comparison test between arguably the two most popular Android tablets out on the market right now in the Asus Nexus 7 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. So obviously, the Asus Nexus 7 is aimed at that lower price point at either $200 for the 8GB or $250 for the 16GB. Of course, the Galaxy Note 10.1 is for the higher range, and this one is around $500. So with that said, let's go ahead and boot up the devices for our first speed test. So both devices are obviously off right now. I'm going to press and hold power on both devices for a few seconds. Let go, and uh, we'll go ahead and see which one actually boots up first. Now, both these guys are packing a lot of power. They both have quad-core processors. You're looking at the NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor at 1.3 gigahertz. You're looking at the Equinos 4 Quad at 1.4 gigahertz. Of course, this guy has two gigabytes of RAM compared to the one gigabyte of RAM found on the Nexus 7. And uh, obviously, when it comes to you know the OS, this one does have the newer version. Being a Nexus device, is running 4.1 Jelly Bean. This guy's running 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. From the boot-up test, we can see that the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 did actually unlock our... Uh, finished first and I unlocked it first and I uh, will go ahead and start up the uh, application speed test from here so let's go ahead and make this guy rotate up for me there you go all right so first thing we'll do is uh, open up the game temple run now just to let you guys know it is running on the same Wi-Fi network on both devices and for the browser test I cleared out the browsing history so it's gonna be nice and fair so I'll go ahead and try to tap these at the same time if I can so one two three Saw the splash screen first on the Samsung Galaxy Note. Seems like it loaded up first. And we'll just wait to see the uh, actual game menu. There you go. So you can see it did load up faster on the uh, Galaxy Note 10.1. I'm going to go ahead and hit home on both devices. I'm not going to close them out in the background because they're both running Android. So we're going to see you know, the multitasking capability of both devices. I'm going to really quick turn up the brightness on the Galaxy Note. All right, so I went ahead and turned up the brightness and let's go ahead and go to the next application, which is Flickster. So one, two, three, go. And uh, again, it looks like it loaded up faster on the Galaxy Note, mainly because you can see these thumbnails over here are all loaded up, or for the most part are loaded up. On the uh, Nexus 7, they're still loading up and you can see some of them are starting to roll through now. There you go, now we got the uh, thumbnail. So obviously it did process faster on the Galaxy Note tablet. And let's go ahead and go to the next application, which is Google Earth. So one, two, three. Saw the splash screen first again here. Saw the Earth here first. And uh, you know, presumably we're gonna assume this one or this one's faster. So the rendering's a little bit faster over here, but this one actually went closer, so that's probably why I was blurry. Never mind. So we'll go ahead and tap out of there. We'll go to Google Maps. So one, two, three. And again, saw it a little bit faster on the Galaxy Note 10.1. We'll go ahead and, whoops, close out of here. And uh, last application we'll run is Score Center before we get into the other tests. And uh, actually loaded up a little bit faster on the Nexus 7 here. We'll go ahead and swipe over and wait for, see which one we saw the content first on. Again, Score Center on the Nexus 7 is faster. We got an ad, we don't wanna see that. Go ahead and go to the NFL page, and uh, pretty much it seems like the Nexus 7, you know, I'll be a little bit, but it is faster than the Galaxy Note when it comes to this certain application. So obviously, you know, your real world experience is going to be a little bit different depending on, you know, what applications you have. But these are just five general apps that I use, and uh, for the most part, you know, you give the edge to the Galaxy Note 10.1. But uh, the Nexus 7 wasn't that far behind. I mean, really wasn't that big of a difference. And it did load up a little bit faster on Score Center. Biggest difference, I, th I think, was in the Flickster app where the Galaxy Note did load it up, uh, the little thumbnails, a lot faster than the Nexus 7. So let's go ahead and run a benchmark. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out the applications over here. So let's hit remove all if I can. And I'll go ahead and swipe them out of here. And uh, we're just gonna do a quick quadrant uh, benchmark so that way we can kind of get ideas as far as the benchmark score so i'm gonna go ahead and open the quadrant professional app on both and then we're gonna hit run full benchmark and i'll just skip through this whole process so that you guys don't have to actually watch it and i'll let you guys see the scores at the end all right so both devices are now done and you can see the galaxy or i'm sorry the nexus 7 scored a 3,667. Obviously, this is just a benchmark, but gives you a good idea as far as you know what 
as far as what the benchmark test said, what the score is. And on the Galaxy Note 10.1, scored a 5,850. So obviously, uh, pretty much like the performance we've seen thus far, the Galaxy Note 10.1 is performing better. Uh, you know, the frequency obviously is faster at 1.4 gigahertz versus 1.3 and uh, there was more RAM, so it's kind of expected. Uh, both screens are actually running at the same resolution, so that's not really playing a factor. Let's go ahead and do the browser test now. So I'm gonna open up Google Chrome. Uh, Google Chrome isn't the default browser over here. It is on the Nexus 7 because of Jelly Bean. Uh, on the, here is just a regular Samsung browser, but I'm not gonna be using that because you know I want it to be a little bit more fair. Uh, I'm just gonna load up a couple of websites. I'm gonna do the Google search for those websites first, so that way the preloading doesn't affect you know which one I type in first. So first website we'll do is phonebuff.com. All right, so I just did a quick Google search for phonebuff. Obviously the first link is gonna be phonebuff.com. I'm gonna tap on these guys at the same time. So one, two, three. And I will try to see which one actually loads first. So try to pay attention. Um, I might not be able to call it accurately because it is kind of hard to look at two devices at once. Saw so the ads here first, so that gives me a better idea. Um, this status bar actually showed to be finished a little bit before this one, but from looking or uh, looking at the content, it looks like the Galaxy Note did load it up a little bit faster. We'll go ahead and do a quick scroll test. So both uh, scrolling really smoothly. We'll tap on this article right over here. One, two, three. Hopefully this one will give us a better idea. And uh, we saw the content here first and um, that one was really close. I mean, really couldn't tell, obviously, using Google Chrome with a quad core, you're gonna get pretty much the same results, seems like. All right, so I'll go ahead and do a Google search for NFL. All right, so you can see NFL.com uh, shows up at the top on both Google searches. We're gonna go ahead and tap on these at the same time. So one, two, three, and try to see which one actually loads up first. Saw the content here first on the Galaxy Note, and uh, scores first here. And uh, again, the uh, big slideshow over here. So pretty much safe to say that the Galaxy Note 10.1 does load up the NFL website faster. And uh, last test will be, uh, let's do New York Times. So I'm just gonna do a Google for that. All right, so I did a Google search for New York Times and we'll go ahead and tap on the website right over here at the same time if I can. So one, two, three. And saw the content first on the Galaxy Note 10.1, more of the pictures and uh, it's already done. This guy seems to be loading. I mean, that's what the status bar says, but it looks like it's pretty much done for the most part. So win still goes to the Galaxy Note 10.1. Uh, for our last test, we're just gonna do a browser mark benchmark, so that way we can see you know, the benchmarks of the browsers and we'll be done with it. All right, so I'll go ahead and run the benchmark and I'll just skip through the results so that way uh, you guys can see exactly what each device scored. All right, so the browser mark benchmark is done and the Nexus 7 scored a 129,754. So a really high score here. Obviously you're gonna get a great browsing experience on the Nexus 7. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at the Galaxy Note 10.1 and you can see it scored a 159,922. So really amazing scores uh, on both devices, but obviously the faster one or the higher score is on the Galaxy Note. Honestly, that's what's been reflected throughout this whole speed test for the most part. And, you know, I mean, you can't really fault the Nexus 7. It only costs 200 to $250, where this guy's over $500. So not really that big of a deal considering that this guy is so close. It might be worth it for you guys if, you know, you want to spend that much on a tablet. Um, really great performance for, you know, per dollar compared to this one. However, you're gonna get more features of this. This is not you know, a device comparison by any means, just a speed comparison. But anyway, those are the results. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.